creation background. I mean, the Bible is written. God created in the beginning man as a spiritual, in the physical world, like uh, leaving space for his children. His children, he created the last. First, he created man, and then he created women. And he gave them the blessing. So God, he gave them everything. And when Father said this, it was 1991, and they all twins, one speech, short speech. And from this point, I said, wow, the history is not too big. So we can, we can have promote this unity between us and wife and this three blessings, we call it like this. Eh? Or in the, at the United mm -hmm. Nations, they have now these SDGs in which they cover all in 17 points, all this what was said in the beginning in the Bible. Spirit world was created so we should honor our angels and all the elements in the spirit world. Even in ourselves we have the spirit world and our mind. What we what we are touched with, with the poverty, we are touched when we see some hungry people. Even when we came here to Kolemaki, in the waiting room, one man was sitting there and naked. That's when I was so surprised. <laughs> I said, wow, even in Italy, <laughs> everywhere, rich country, why people are take them, that they need to, to go to some places, <coughs> that only waiting room for people can go. This is Colomatia. We are at the Women's Federation. Executive meeting, and I'll just open the windows, it might be foggy, so I'll just change the direction of the camera. Can I do that? And uh, so I wanted to show you the, the, the scenery, it doesn't work, okay. one, two, three years ahead. Because 2025, 2027, God already established some kind of schedule, timetable there. If you prepare good leaders and prepare them properly with a good conscience connected vertically to heaven, to the, to the providence, then you can really save this world. If you feel this kind of call, then this meeting will be, of, of course, will be totally successful centered on this. And this is what I feel very strong in the last uh, last uh, few years. I'm dedicating at least half of my mission in educating leaders, educating young people. From America to Norway to everywhere. Uh, so this is our, our role in this time as uh, not only first generation but also as elders of our movement. But uh, you have one on top of this, you have also your role as a woman. A true mother is leading the providence, is a woman. And many women are coming up all over the world and to lead the world. So this is absolutely needed. Because still this, this uh, society don't, don't belong to God. And God is coming next year with the opening of the temple. So time is really short. So your role will be very intense, very important and key. In, in the providential work. So that's why I, what I feel in this day, praying for this meeting, this is the strong feeling I had. So have a good meeting. I'm sure you will uh, enjoy, you will... Uh, I'm sorry that the weather is not so nice. We had the sun until you arrived. <laughs> anyway, the sun will come back. The sun will come back. The sun will come back. Will come back. charge them with a strong will to really change the world because you can do really well. Okay, thank you very much.